Yeah, uh, you know, you're right. So, uh, you know, we're, we're more ball aware. There's no doubt about it. We're getting the ball out. Now we got to get some of those to either A, bounce our, our way or, you know, make our own breaks. So there's no excuses. You know, you can play good defense and hang in there, but you're never going to be a great defense if you don't add that element. And we really have to add that element and be a little bit more disruptive. Uh, and again, it starts with me, you know, in terms of the play calling and getting the guys in the right position to make some of those plays. So. Uh, no doubt, uh, we've gotten our hands on some ball, on you know some cost fumbles now, and now we have to we have to recover them. What did you like from Chris Smith and Gabe Rubio, and where can they improve? And how close is Jason Anya to kind of? Cracking yeah, so you're up? right. You know, so Anya, let's start there. So you know, we're trying to we're trying to crank him up, we're trying to get him going, and uh, there's a limited number of reps. So a lot of it is going to have to be done pre-practice, during practice, and. You know, a little bit after practice, he's going to have to get caught up. He's going to have to watch a lot of tape on his own, get in the playbook, and uh, you know, because that opportunity is, it's right around the corner. You know, this, that's the way this game is, and if it's his turn, he's got to be ready to go, just like Gabe and Chris were. And uh, I don't know where we would be if Gabe and Chris didn't work like a dog to get ready to go, and, and they did. And uh, all of a sudden, they had their opportunity, and uh, they stepped up for us. Uh, in terms of Chris and Gabe uh, overall. Uh, it sounds like a morning <laughs> uh, radio show, but the, the, the Gabe and Chris uh, deal is, uh, it's good. You know, they're, they're working hard, they're strong. They both can anchor in there. Um, they play with great energy and passion and they're, they love finishing plays. So happy with both of them. Uh, Coach, you're about Last the question here, guys. halfway point through the season, six games in. How would you assess the progress your defense has made from week one to now? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, there's been uh, consistency is is probably what we're looking for more than anything. Um, teams are going to make plays. I mean, it's it's college football in this era. You know, a lot of teams are averaging 30, 35 points a game or whatever the case may be. So I'm pleased that we're keeping the points down. But we, like I said, we. We, we can't give up those explosive plays that, you know, even if we stop them three plays later, they change the field. We can't do that. So we're hurting our offense and we're hurting our special teams by doing that. So we got to eliminate, we got to be more consistent, eliminate the explosive plays. Again, starts with me, the play caller, uh, just putting the guys in a better position. And then, you know, again, we're not going to be able to take the next step over the next two months if we don't take the ball away.